What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be starting off a brand new build. So as some of you know, last season we finished up and tested the competition car. Mike and TJ over at One Motion Garage built us the full rear rad setup. And that solved all of our cooling issues. The last event that we ran last season at Pocono, we ended up damaging the uh, power steering. So uh, we got all the new parts and we just need to get that all replaced and then this car is ready for competition and you know big events only. So proceeding into this season instead of just continuing to run this car and spend a million dollars on tires and breaking parts and stuff for, for no reason other than practice, we decided to go ahead and build a practice car. Now I've had this chassis now for a couple years now. We bought it as a rolling shell. It was already all stripped out. It's it's actually in really, really good condition. No rust. It's already got uh, it's already got painted engine bay. So as you can see, it's already fully gutted, stripped out. Now when I bought this car, I had bought it with the intentions of eventually building it into a practice car. I think we did a little backwards, we built the comp car first, but it is what it is. That car is done, it's ready for use when, when I'm ready. So we're going to be on to this car. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to properly remove all the sound deadening material from the chassis to prep it for all the fab work that's going to be done over at One Motion Garage, roll cage, front rear bash bars. This car is just going to be very simple, modified stock suspension, you know, cut knuckles, extended arms, modified rack. We're going to keep it simple with the suspension, no weiss fab and all that. And um, we're just going to build it to go and have some fun. So as many of you know, uh, once you got your chassis interior fully stripped, one of the next steps to do is to remove all the sound deadening material from throughout the car. This will save you on weight and obviously it will um, you know, expose all the metal of the floor so you can properly weld in your roll cage. All right, so all you're gonna need to properly remove the sound dampening material is some dry ice, some isopropyl alcohol, a bucket, a hammer, and then possibly a chisel or something depending on how stubborn the material is. So your first step is gonna be to put your dry ice in your bucket and using your hammer, you're gonna break it up until it's almost the consistency of snow. Next, you're gonna add your isopropyl alcohol this is going to help with the sublimation process and it's going to cause the dry ice to evaporate faster, making it colder. You're then going to spread your dry ice mixture over your sound deadening material and using your hammer or your hands, you're going to spread it out into a nice even layer. You're almost immediately going to hear a crackling. This is the glue separating itself from the sheet metal. You're going to let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes until all of the crackling has subsided. Then using your hammer or your chisel, you're going to begin to gently remove all of the material from the sheet metal. If you've done this properly, it should come right off. Alright, now depending on what car you're working on, you may have some of the sound material on some of the vertical surfaces. If this is the case, then the dry ice method will not work, and your next best bet is to use a heat gun and a scraper in order to melt the glue and scrape the material off. You can see here I have to do this on the rear wheel wells of my S13. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hope that helped out. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to show you guys how to repair and flock a dash. Peace.